Hi guys, hope everyone is doing well. So just want to show off one of my fowls here whose bloom has decided to open for me. And I'm really happy about this because I almost forgot, actually not almost, I totally forgot what the bloom looks like. Uh, most of my fowls, I do remember the blooms, but you know, there's the occasional ones that I forget what the blooms look like because as you know, I have so many in my collection. So happy about this she's got three buds so one flower is opened and this one too has got two and I saw suff um, one suffered bud blast so these are from secondary shoots and I just want to talk quickly about this fowl here as you can see it's planted um, actually in nothing yeah so it's a uh, it's bare root and the reason I why I decided to go this method was because Originally when I purchased the fowl, it was in sphagnum moss and it was suffocating the roots. So I took out the sphagnum moss and I planted it in bark medium. Well, the plant was not happy about that as well because the leaves are just going really limp. And um, yeah, I was just not doing well at all. So I just decided just to get rid of everything and just do the semi-water method. So as you know, the semi-water method is two days, Saturday and Sunday, submerged in water, roots only, and then five days a week, bare root. So basically the five days allows the roots to air dry. So since then, the plant has completely turned around. As you can see, the leaves have firmed up a lot. So yeah, it's doing really well and I was worried that um, it was going to suffer bud blast. So besides the one bud, uh, this one has decided to open as you can see. So um, the buds dif didn't suffer that much when I changed it over to bare root. So loving the bare root method so far and if you've... Um, if you've seen my past videos, you know about this one file of mine as well, which is a kiki. And the kiki, again, is grown in bare root, the same method as um, that one over there. So two days in water, two days bare root. And as you can see, the roots are really plump and it's growing. It's got great green growing tips and yeah, it's doing really well. So I love it. And what I do actually when I let it air dry is I hang it upside down. I have a little stick there and I just let it air dry like that. So it's awesome. I'm so really happy about that. Yep. And I just want to talk to you quickly about my other fowl that I planted in the same method. Yeah, this one here, if you've seen my past videos, you know this is my orange one, my orange Phalaenopsis orchid, and it was my only, it's my only orange colored Phalaenopsis orchid, so it's really special to me. And when I purchased it, it had a full, um, it was full of blooms. It was absolutely gorgeous. But then I noticed that the media was breaking down and it was not, it wasn't doing well, I lost all the blooms really like suddenly it just started to wilt and I thought okay something's not right and the leaves were starting to get really limp so I decided to go and do the bare root method as well and since then the fowl has again completely turned around um, the leaves have firmed up a lot as you can see there and to my amazement secondary spikes are growing so on the spike here you got one there you've got one there within a week's time there was already secondary shoots growing so this baby's not done flowering yet or wanting to flower so you can see right there as well yeah so two main primary spikes and you've got three shoots growing from that and on top of that it's starting to grow grow tips you can see right there green growing tips yeah, right there to the left. And yeah. So overall, um, really, really love this growing method. Yeah. So it's worked for me. I guess my environment 
uh, is good for that. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to talk quickly about that. And I like it so much that I actually converted a few other files of mine to this method. So, yeah. All right, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye now.